Foul pox. This bird has it, and this whole flock has it pretty much, but this white bird got it really badly. It infects the beak area, the eye area, it can affect the feet and other parts of exposed skin on the chicken, but they basically get wart-like lesions, scabs all over their face and beaks and legs. And luckily, my chicken's got the dry form of foul pox, which is not as dangerous as the wet form. The wet form gets in the mouth and it's very hard for them to eat and a lot of times can result in death. But this is no walk in the park either. As you can see, this bird is getting uh, infected pretty badly and it eventually spreads to the point where she is completely blind and cannot see anything. She can't see her food. She can't see her water. Uh, so we basically have to show her. This is the rooster that was also infected. You can see the top of his beak. He's got the same type uh, scabs and whatnot. Uh, he definitely does not have it as bad as the uh, white chick right here. So as of right now, she can't see out of her right eye at all. It's completely gunked over in her left eye. She has bubbles all in it, so she can only see, uh, I would say probably like 10% or something like that, just enough to see where the roosting bar is and where the food and drinks are. And uh, this is the next day, so she can't see out of that eye at all, as you can see. That eye is almost gunked over as well, so she has probably 5% visibility right now. Uh, but she's a fighter, she's hanging on, and unfortunately there's no cure for this, you just have to let it do its thing. As you can see right here, she's starting to get better. Just a little bit of apple cider vinegar and about four weeks time, and this is what you're getting. She's getting better. Almost fully healed. Just a little blind in that eye, I think. We'll see. I'm pretty sure she's blind in that eye. But that eye is almost back to normal. She looks a lot better. She's been through the ringer. See what happens. 